Hey, what's up guys? It's TechZoomer, talking to you here. And in today's video, I wanna talk about the M2 Pro and M2 Mac Minis, and why I think those two computers are the best values Mac ever, and in my opinion, the best value desktop computers ever. Yes, this is a very bold statement, but I do believe that this year, with the launch of the M2 Pro and M2 Mac Minis, Apple has completely dropped the ball on one of the best, nor the best value computers bundle ever. Because although the Mac Mini doesn't come with a keyboard, doesn't come with a mouse, doesn't come with a display, <laughs> the true cost of this computer when compared to its performance, its I.O., everything that the Mac Mini provides for only the starting price of $599 for a normal person and $499 for education, then I do believe that the M2 Mac Mini is the best value computer ever. And if you want extra performance, the M2 Pro Mac Mini can give you that for only $1,300. So let's analyze the M2 Pro and M2 Mac Mini lineup. Which ones should you buy? Which ones should you avoid? And more of create of a buyer's guide list. I know this is a very confusing lineup of Macs. Right now we have tons of Macs, tons of new old Macs all mixed together. The only Intel Mac left now is the Intel Mac Pro and that one should be dead very soon. So let's get started. Don't forget to drop a like down below, subscribe to the channel, roll the intro. So let's first start with the M2 Mac Mini. The M2 Mac Mini is truly, in my opinion, the best value Mac ever. At an education starting point of $499, you can get a cheap, very cheap Mac with an M2 chip. This M2 chip is amazing, I've used it before. I've had the M2 MacBook Air 13 inch, yes, 13 inch, because I do believe there will be a 15 inch computer, so I don't want this video to get sour. So it was the M2 MacBook Air 13 inch, and that computer had the M2 chip. In my opinion, it was the base model M2 chip, by the way, it was, in my opinion, that computer was incredible. I did love the M2 chip a lot. Although it wasn't as powerful like as my M1 Max MacBook Pro, it was powerful enough for most things. And I do believe for most people at the price point of $500 that are looking for a computer, the M2 Mac Mini is 100% what you need. The M2 Mac Mini doesn't come with a display, doesn't come with a mouse, and doesn't come with a keyboard, but you will probably have a display at home and you will probably have a keyboard and mouse at home. But if you don't have it, you can get a $20 keyboard, $20, $30 mouse, you can get a $150 display, and by only, I don't know, $700, $650, you can get a very, very, very powerful computer combo. I do love the M2 Mac Mini. It's the perfect cheap Mac. And you can get the spicy performance, the very bursty and very fast performance of the M2 chip. You can get incredible power and efficiency so your Mac Mini won't be screaming loud with its fans, it won't get hot, and you will get also very, very good performance. The M2 Mac Mini or the M2 chip in the M2 Mac Mini will have tons of performance and tons of thermal ahead, so it won't thermally throttle. I do believe that the M2 chip on the M2 Mac Mini will perform a little bit better than what you are seeing right now on the M2 MacBook Air. But these are the results that I found on the M2 MacBook Air. Probably they will perform 5%, 3% better on the margin of error. So I would hope to get the M2 Mac Mini. If you want that, don't forget to drop a like down below to the channel and tell me in the comments down below if you want me to buy the M2 Mac Mini to review in 2023. So what computer should you buy from the M2 Mac Mini lineup? Well, I would first advise you to take a look at the base model. The base storage, 256 gigabytes, 8 GB of RAM with the M2 chip. If you don't need more than that, because that's in my opinion the best value, then choose and go for that. But if you want a bit extra storage because you are worried, then spec out the storage. But don't spec out the storage and the RAM, because that's a $200 upgrade for the RAM, $200 upgrade for the storage, and you are already at $1199. That's too much money for the M2 Mac Me. I do believe that's too much because at that price point you can get close to the M2 MacBook Air starting at all of those and you get a keyboard, a mouse and a very very portable form factor or you can get an M1 MacBook Air with more storage or even you are getting very close to the M2 Pro Mac Mini and that computer starts at 512 gigabytes of storage, 16 gigabytes of RAM and has the M2 Pro chip which is much much better, has much much faster GPU scores and in my opinion just performs that much better. So I do believe that the best option for you with the M2 Mac Mini is going cheap, like low storage, 
low RAM base chip. Do not go over that like if you want more storage, again go for the storage, but I do believe it will be more worth it simply because the M2 Mac Mini is a desktop computer to get external SSDs, external storage later for cheaper. Just go for the base model in my opinion, the M2 Mac Mini and it will be well served. Do not go over the $1,000 mark because you are getting too close to very good laptops and the M2 Pro Mac Mini. But Apple did not also launch the M2 Mac Mini like we were expecting, but they released also the M2 Pro Mac Mini. This is a very, very interesting computer. The M2 Pro Mac Mini is truly a good deal. In my opinion, it's not as good of a deal as the M2 Mac Mini, but at starting point of $1299, the M2 Pro Mac Mini is truly fast, powerful and cheap. It's the cheapest and powerfulest computer from Apple. Finally, you can get a Pro Apple Silicon chip for less than $1,500. Before, you had to buy a refurbished model or used model from a 14-inch MacBook Pro. Be in mind that that computer has much more advantages over the M2 Pro Mac Mini, like 120Hz ProMotion panel, which is incredible, mini LED. You have amazing hardware, amazing keyboard, amazing mouse, amazing everything, speakers. So if you want to divide between these two computers, then I would advise you a laptop, because for only $200 more, $300 more, you can get a way better experience. But if you don't actually need the laptop computer, you just want the base model M2 Pro Mac Mini, then finally you can get an M2 Pro for only $1,300. An M2 Pro Mac Mini is truly an amazing deal. But I have a problem with this computer. If you start specking out this computer, it will be very fastly found on the $2,000 mark. And that's expensive, real expensive, because you can get the Mac Studio with the M1 Max chip, which is even more powerful than the M2 Pro, don't believe me, see the benchmarks according to Apple, and after that, you will be left with a worse computer for the same price, with the same RAM, the same storage. So, calm down. In my opinion, the only configuration worth it for the M2 Pro Mac Mini is truly the base model. And if you want to, you can spend the extra $300 on storage or extra $200 on RAM. Not more than that. Do not spend more money than that. Do not upgrade more of your M2 Pro Mac Mini because you will start to get to the $1,500, $1,600 more MacBook Pro 14-inch territory or even the Mac Studio territory, the $1,099 Mac Studio. So be very, very careful with that. But with that in mind, the M2 Pro and M2 Mac Mini, like I was telling you, are amazing deals. And the M2 Pro Mac Mini is finally a pro computer on a very small, compact machine that starts at only $1,299. If you are building a server rack with only Mac Minis, this is truly your best choice. $1,300 for each Mac Mini can get you amazing, amazing performance. Like this will be one of the cheapest server racks you can build. Although the M2 Mac Mini is also a great choice. So you have to measure which things you need. More GPU performance or simply your CPU is fine. If you need more GPU, then I totally go for the M2 Pro Mac Mini. If you don't need the extra GPU power, then I would advise you going for the 599 or at least if you are a student, 499 M2 Mac Mini, that would be extremely powerful. One feature that I wanna see in the future Apple is the fact that you can join two Mac Minis and create an even more powerful Mac Mini with two Mac Mini chips. That would be a cool feature. So if you want to get two Mac Mini with the M2 Pro for $2,600, you will be able to get two M2 Pro chips. So that would be pretty, pretty cool. Here again, you have the M1 Max, which is like 1.5, the M2 Pro chip. So at the end of the day, step carefully by the M2 Pro Mac Mini and the M2 Mac Mini if they are the base models. If you are to starting to spec out these computers, then the latter effect on the Apple's Mac lineup starts kicking in and it's just more worth it to buy the model upwards. So be careful with that and make the decision, do you want a laptop or do you want a desktop? If you want a desktop, you can get really cheap if you go base model, but if you want a laptop, or at least you are okay with a laptop, it doesn't justify going for the upward models and the more expensive models of the M2 Pro Mac Mini and the M2 Mac Mini. The M2 Mac Mini, maybe, if you are at $800, $900 zone, but the M2 Pro totally is not, because you will start to get into the $1,500, $1,600 zone, and there you can get the M1 Pro, MacBook Pro, 14-inch, one of the best deals still on the Apple lineup. This is really cheap because it's used, refurbished, try to find it wherever you can. In my opinion, the M2 Pro and M2 Mac Mini are the best launched from this launch that we got. We got the M2 Pro and M2 Max MacBook Pros. That I will have a video on that pretty soon. But I do believe that these two computers were the most exciting, the better value, and that's why I made this video first. In my opinion, the M2 Pro, M2 Max, Mac Pro, very small upgrade, very, I would say, spec bumpy upgrade. I'm not so excited for those. I do have an M1 Max, Mac Pro 16 inch. 
I will talk about that later on another video. But my opinion, if you are looking for an M2 Pro Mac Mini, this is the best time of the year to get one. And if you are looking for the M2 Mac Mini, then go through the education store, get one for only $500, <laughs> even cheaper than the iPad Air. It's just ridiculous what you can get in 2023 for $500 in terms of computer power. So let me know in the comments down below what you think. Do you like the M2 Pro, the M2 Mac Mini? Do you think they are a very good value or do you disagree with me and think that these computers are pretty boring? They do not come with any accessories and you just have to spend tons of money to get a very pretty cool computer, pretty good spec. And at that point, it's just more worth it to get a laptop or even the Mac Studio. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. This has been Tech Summer talking to you here.